दास गुरु माझी आई पतित पावन श्री कृष्णा बाई आई रामदास गुरु माझी आई पतित पावन श्री कृष्णा बाई आई रामदास गुरु माझी आई पतित पावन श्री कृष्णा बाई आई रामदास गुरु माझी आई पतित पावन श्री कृष्णा बाई आई रामदास गुरु माझी आई पतित पावन श्री कृष्णा Abhang is a very popular number composed by Eknath Maharaj Ji. Maje Mahera Pandhari. Mahera, as you are all aware, is your mother's house. Friends, Eknath Maharaj very beautifully says, Pandharapur is my own mother's house. Friends, all of us have Anand Ashram as our Mahir. I'm sure you all agree with me. Hariyom. Eknath Maharaj says, Vithal is my father. 
Rakumai is my mother. For all of us here, Papa is our father, Mataji is our mother. Maje Mahera Pandhari Maje Mahera Maje Mahera Maje Mahera Maje Mahera Pandhari Ahe Bhevare Chandire Ahe Bhevare Chandire जपे हरि पर लेकर जाना हरे गुण गाना राम गुण गाना हरे गुण गाना राम गुण गाना हरे गुण गाना राम गुण गाना 
program today we shall hear the ashirvachan of his holiness satyoja shankarashram swamiji of shirali mat swamiji was here on the first of this month and he has delivered an ashirvachan that you will hear now after that we will Just telling me, 24th of December onwards, the official celebration, commemoration of the Sanyasa Jayanti of Papa Swami Ramdas begins. We never know when the Shiva Sankalpa happens. His life initially as Prabhupada and whatever was very unhappy. But it was not his prarab, that was his tremendous desire, Vairagi. At that time it was not understood, not appreciated. But then we saw that blossoming. Total Sami Priya. We all want to be Bhaktas. So how do we define? I am a better Bhakta. Or that person has more Bhakti. Why don't we ask that for whom we have Bhakti? So in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna as Narayana himself says, Sami Priya, Anapeksha. There are qualities of a bhakta. So here he says, Anapeksha, Shuchi, Daksha, Udasina, Gatavyatha, Sarvaram Bhaparityagi, Yomad Bhakta, Sami Priya. Yes, bhakti is there. But what are the other gunas? I would love to see in my life. So, Anapeksha is the first one. Not too many expectations. That is a very, very difficult thing. It's not just the Phala Kamshi. Anapeksha, that Swachata that comes like a child. And that is again exemplified by Swami Ramdas. That is why I have just taken this shloka. Anapeksha, Shuchi, that Satika won't neglect his duties. So, there is Shuchitta. There is Shuddhi. Bhakti Shuddhi and Antara Shuddhi also, the Antakaran Shuddhi also comes. <coughs> and because the Shuddhi is there, the Dakshata comes. Dakshata is again efficiency. But now it is at a spiritual level that this is being discussed. So what is the Dakshata in that is expected? Because my Antakaran Shuddhi is there, the Dakshata will be at a different level. Dakshata is to remain connected. And then what disconnects you from God? 
it is not actually the external, it is the ragadvesha, the reactions that come in the antakkarna. So that dakshata also has to come there, shuddhi and that removal, efficient, merciless <coughs> understanding, not analysis, understanding, oh, 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 careful, here something else has happened. Anapeksha, shuji, daksha, I am doing my work, then go back to Anapeksha again. Why? As I told you, why has that person been given this beauty which I would have liked to do? So then go back to Anapeksha. That's not my job. I have to learn. So that is the dakshata you are getting, the shuchitva again you are getting. And that dakshata is extremely important. If you fool yourself, it will be disastrous. What is it? What is it that is motivating me? Is it a competitive spirit or not? Here I don't require. In this sort of an environment, let me just be buoyed up by love. Let that love drown me. So mercilessly we have cut away. Because we have come with samskaras, lifetime with lifetimes of samskaras. So that dakshata is expected. Very quickly you understand, oh, oh, oh this is money now. This is my mind fooling me. Nothing doing. Relax. And take a deep breath. And see water. Which is almost inevitable. So that dakshata also happens and then your skill set will improve. Tremendous work, you become a nimitta, anapeksha, shuchili, daksha, udasina. So you can understand asina, kashtik, asana, pari, asina, vyakti. Ut asina, ut nama brahma. So you rise above the situation and then you can view it from a different perspective. If you are still embroiled, then all these other things, his interest and all will come. And that also becomes a very sad thing. You are supposed to be, you can still take an interest. I am doing it, I like it. Somebody else takes the mic and starts singing. That person is singing very well. You become Udasi. So, Udasi, um, try to understand that. But we have that happening even in our, as children grow up. It is unfortunate that we forget we are still children and we also have to be very careful for a, a four-year-old child and a seven-year-old child, siblings, what happens? A seven-year-old child has been, okay, for three years it was fun. Now this other fellow has come in the picture and he's told, he is your younger brother. If he is crying, you give that to him. Lots of unhappiness. But put as in, when he learns, okay, no problem, I have something else to do, etc. Then the child can grow. Otherwise, it is just endurance. Learn to give, learn to give. There's a lot of things. It is like titiksha, it is tapas. But the udasinata comes when I am also done. You have to cut away, you are given something else at that time. Relax, enjoy, and encourage what is happening. Be happy with what is continuing even without your <laughs> interference or whatever. Then you will be Uttasin. Otherwise, you will still be stuck at that level. You have risen about it. So, we get a lot of opportunities to become Uttasin also correctly. So, Uttasin, Gatav Gyatha. And because of this Gatav Gyatha, Gyatha that is there, Gyatha is of various years. Chinta Vila Parhitam Satiti Kshanigat Sahanam Sarvadukkana. Without any reaction, so you can have to respond or not react. Gatav Gyatha, neither worrying about, not unhappy about, no regrets and no worries. Gatav Gyatha, from whom, a person from whom all the Gyatha is gone. This is the Lakshada of a Siddha, a Bhakta. Sarvarambha Parityaga. Then we come to this. We will come to appreciate, commemorate, sannyasa, sarva arambha parityadi, arambha is karma, he gives up all karma, sarva arambha parityadi, yo mat bhakta samayatriya, of course that component is a bhakti should be there, it is not analyzing the mind and taking some decisions, not a psychological cleaner person, because in finally what are you, what are you doing there? If you get to the follow your inhibitions and worries and all and then still you are in samsara. But bhakti is there, then these are all the releases. Sarvarandha parityagi yomat bhakta samitriya. That is the prarthana we do even on this day. On a special occasion. 
I just pray that we are guided, all of you, by the fire that was Mataji because she demonstrated how to approach this. All these qualities come out in her life. You understand that? And they were already achieved such that they had become Swabhav of uh, Papa, of Swami Ramadas. So what we saw was just the pure enlightened soul. We didn't demonstrate. But how to approach that? And what are the qualities that have to come in a sadhaka were brought out by Mataji. That is why that connection is extremely important. The vimarsha of the prakasha, how do you understand the prakasha? How does it become meaningful to you? On this occasion, let us understand the depth of the strength of the renunciation which we are commemorating the sannyasa. Our conviction, our complete trust only in the spiritual ideal. Everything else actually is coming because of our prarata, but because of that divine sankalpa, everything is coming to give you ut asinata, udasinata, lift you out of this. So you are not struggling to maintain your balance. You are really becoming, oh, this has only this much value. It's that sort of a growth. It's not saying, I like it, but then, okay, that initial sacrifice is there. But as early as possible, oh, why was I so troubled? I have risen above that. That Udhasinata let us keep. That is what we can aspire for. And that itself will take us to the Guru Chani where it is. Sanyas. Yes. Complete offering of our own self. Let that happen. That is what I pray. On behalf of all of us in this beautiful location, in this Kshetra, Kshetra Mahima. And in this Sankhapa, you can make on this auspicious location with the Sanyas Jayanti. May my Vyasa, all my trust, may it be at the feet of the Guru. That's all. Then I have taken the honor. And I can. It is my birthright. Usually. That conviction should be there. After all, it is my own Swarup. I have forgotten it. It is Agnana. I can't remove that Agnana, but I am not going to cling on to it at least. Let it go. This conviction, with this conviction, we do whatever Upasana, Sadhana that has been done. And pray that in this life itself we receive the highest Atma Anubhav to the feet of the Guru. Om Nandanto Sadhaka Sarve Vinashyantu Rushakaha Avastashnam Dami Nesu Prasannosu Guru Sada Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayanaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashchit Dukha Mahmaya Om Shanti 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 Om Namah Parvati Patvaya Harvaya For those who have not been able to hear it properly, we try to make a synopsis. On the 24th December, we have been told the official celebration, commemoration of Sanyas Jayanti of Papa Swami Ramdas, uh, Papa Swami Ramdas begins. We never, know, we never know when the Shiva Sankalpa happens. His life initially, a Padukone Vital Rao, was very unhappy, but it was not just Prarabdha, it was this tremendous desire, Vairagya. At that time, it was not understood, not appreciated, but then we saw the blossoming. <coughs> Total Sharanagadi, full blossoming, and that is what we celebrate. For me, what matters most is the Mataji's presence. When she came as a Shishya, how will we understand the Guru? We can uh, reverse, listen, take Adesha, Upadesha, and go about it. But practical, a practical demonstration of what is Shishyatva has also been brought out so beautifully. I remember that. Let that be your aspiration, purest of the pure, complete dedication. Anapeksha, Shuchi, Daksha, Udasino, Gatavyata, 
ಸರ್ವಾರಂಭ ಪರಿತ್ಯಾಗಿ ಓಮದ್ಭಕ್ತ ಸಮಯ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಪೂಜ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ವಾಸ್ ಕೋಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ವೇರ್ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅನಪೇಕ್ಷ ಶುಚಿ ದಕ್ಷ ಉದಾಸೀನ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಭಕ್ತಾಸ್ so how do we define that i am a better bhakta or the person has more bhakti why don't why don't we ask why don't we ask that for whom we have bhakti in shrimad bhagavad gita lord krishna is narayana himself so samaye priya these are the qualities of a bhakta anapeksha is the first one not too many explanations it's very very difficult thing it is not just phalave phala akanksha expectation of the fruit of action ಅನಪೇಕ್ಷ ದಟ್ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛತ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಪಪ್ಪ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ರಾಮದಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಅನಪೇಕ್ಷ ಶುಚಿ ದಿ ಸಾಧಕ ಓನ್ ನೆಗ್ಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಶುಚಿತ್ವ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಬಾಹ್ಯ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಅಂತರ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಆಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದಕ್ಷತಾ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ excellence you have a skill set and in what you do you have to be efficient but know this no no that this is at the spiritual level that is being discussed so what is dakshata what is expected because of me antakarana shujitva is there the dakshata will be at a different level what disconnects you from god it is not anything external it is the ragadvesha the reaction that come in the antakarana so that dakshata has more has come to combine it has come to uh, that shuddhi that efficient na mercy less removal understanding not analysis anapeksha shuchi daksha i am doing my work then go back to anapeksha again because i told you why has that person been given the duty which i would have done like to do so we go back to anapeksha i have to learn so that is the dakshata you are getting the shuchitva you are getting the dakshata is extremely important if you fool yourself it will be disastrous what is the what is the motivating what is motivating me is it a competitive spirit no here i don't require it in this sort of an environment let me just boil up my love let that love draw me so mercilessly we have to cut away because we have come with samskara lifetime samskara so the dakshata is expected very quickly you understand then udasina you can understand asina sitting udasina means you rise above the situation and then you can view it from a different perspective from the present level if you are all embroiled then these things are if you if you are still embroiled then these are the other things this disinterest and all will come that becomes a very sad thing you can still take the interest i am doing it i like it somebody else else takes the mic and starts singing that person is singing very well we become udasi happy so as adults also in any situation be udasi if you are completely involved and you have to cut away or do anything else at that time relax enjoy encourage what is happening be happy with what is continuing even without your interference or whatever then you will be udasi otherwise you will still be stuck to that level you have risen above we get a lot of opportunities to become udasi in directly then gatavyata gatavyata a person for whom from whom all the vyatha is gone that is the lakshana no worries no regrets ಸರ್ವಾರಂಭ ಪರಿತ್ಯಾಗಿ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಟ್ ಕಮಂಬರೇಟ್ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಲ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಸರ್ವಾರಂಭ ಪರಿತ್ಯಾಗಿ ಅಫ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅನಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಸೈಕಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಅಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇನ್ಹಿಬಿಷನ್ಸ್ ವರೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಸಂಸಾರ bhakti is there then all these are uh, releases that is the prarthana we do even on this day the special occasion 
I just pray that we are all guided by the fire that was Mataji, because she demonstrated how to approach all these qualities, come out in her life. They were already achievements of Papa. They had become the Sabhava of Papa Swami Ramdas. So what we saw was the pure enlightened soul. He did not demonstrate how to approach that. What are the qualities that have come to the sadhaga, to a sadhaga, were brought out by Mataji. That is why that connection is extremely important. The occasion, this occasion, let us understand the depth, the strength of the enunciation which we are commemorating, uh, our conviction, our complete trust only in the spiritual ideal. Everything else actually is coming because of our prarabdha, but because of the divine sankalpa, strengthen everything coming to make you udhasin, to lift you out, so you are not struggling to maintain your balance. You realize, oh, this has only this much value. It is that sort of stroke growth. I am not saying you like it. Okay, that initial sacrifice is there, but as already as early as possible. Why was I troubled? I have risen above that. That udasinata, let us keep up. That is what we should aspire for. That itself will take up to the next stage, sannyas, complete offering to one's own self. Let that happen. That is what I pray on behalf of all of us on this beautiful occasion. And this Kshetra, the Kshetra Mahima, the Sankalpa you can make on this auspicious occasion, the Sanyas Jayanti. May my Nyasa or my trust be at the feet of the Guru and I can, if I can, and I can, it is my birthright. That conviction should be there. After all, it is my own Swarup. I have forgotten it all. It is Ajnana. I can't remove that Ajnana, but I am not going to cling on to it with the Guru. In one word, if we put Swamiji's message, it is to rise above the present level. We always involve ourselves, we react to events and individuals only based upon the me and mine level. The intellect gives us a lot of concepts about everything. The rights and wrongs, the likes and dislikes, everything, and other preferences, priorities. So here Swamiji says we have to rise a little above. You know? He gives a lot of importance for that udasi in our practical life. If we see from this level, we can see limited people. If we go to the terrace, more and more people can be seen. If we go to the mountain top, it's become beautiful. And if we see from the aircraft, see, let us be, let, so when from the ground level, when we raise ourselves, at this moment we may see certain, certain, certain things are bad, nauseating, you know, dirty. But the moment we rise, from the hilltop when you see, there won't be anything wrong. From the aircraft, no. When Papa said, uh, Puja Swamiji was sharing with us, one statement which he heard when he was in military, his colleague shared with him, there is a saint in South India who said there is no disorder in the world. Everything is as it should be. Puja Swamiji said that only two people in the world can say. One, either he should be mad or he should be an evolved person. Because from our level, there are so many inequalities, absurdities, so many things, you know. Because at this level. But when we go to the room, a mountain top and see, all these things get subsided into the positive things, the beautiful things. So this is what Udhati Nada means. At the family level, at the professional level, at the social level, when we are facing a lot of challenges, if we try to diagnose the problem behind it, we find that it is because we have been trying to view it from the limited, puny intellect level. So raise ourselves to a higher level. 
This is not a superhuman effect. All of us, we used to raise ourselves. But we are not even aware. Now we should become aware so that it can become a practice in ourselves. That is why Puja Swamiji, when he was asked how to retain the sense of uh, equanimity, he said, don't react immediately. By that he meant, you know, try to raise yourself. Our reaction comes immediately because we view it from our person level. We find rights and wrongs, likes and dislikes, so many things. But the moment we pause for a moment, and Swamiji also added, you chant three times or ten, or ten times Ramana. By the time, you know, we are trying to raise ourselves. God ordained, God scripted. This life is pre-scripted by God. That will come to me, you know. So some cushioning effect will be there. So this is a very important one. When we get this Ashirvajan of Mahatmas, not that we may be able to follow everything, at least one aspect of it will go deep into it and that will help us in our workaday life to, extend, to, to, to apply spirituality in day-to-day -day life. Now, before we came to uh, this Panchavadi, some friends were there and we were discussing. Two questions were raised. One is when we are in ashram, the, the, the calmness or the quietitude or the serenity we feel uh, we are unable to keep it up the moment we leave this ashram. Natural. So we were sharing, Puja Papa himself has answered it. When you enter this ashram, in a lighter vein he said, near the gate you will find a banyan tree. So he said unknowingly you put the baggage there and enter into the, because then we are fully, our mind space is fully uh, filled with Papa, Mataji's, Anandashram, the legacy, Suja Swamiji, so many devotees, loving devotees, loving this. So the entire space is occupied and we are in a different realm. The moment we return, unknowingly, Papa says, we stop the vehicle, <laughs> take back the bag, our usual old self. That means what? The important thing is, though God has given to all of us a family life, professional life and social life and various types of experiences, He wants us to know our real home. He wants us to know our, the purpose of our life. So He also facilitates for satsang, a visit to a holy place, associating ourselves with the biographical sketches of the masters, and so slowly we try, this is the purpose of my life. So we are coming here for a orientation course. When we go for an orientation course, we don't, we don't just attend and then come back. You remember? We try to study. You are coming here to, uh, to learn. Learn the technique of leading a peaceful life, a blissful life, purposeful life, an efficient life. So we, with that perspective, when we attend to, when we go through the uh, routine of the ashram, when we go back, something of it will remain. If we just uh, see the form and prostrate and adore, rather than hearing what they say, rather than going deep into what they, have, what they shared with us, rather than minutely observing their life and approach, their biographies. If we don't do that, our visit becomes Emotionally, sentimentally, we are happy, but in effect, we are back to square one. So this has to be, ashram is a school, no? Puja Mataji used to say, 
ashram is a school you have come here to learn learn what learn what eh universal love and service ashram seva Read Mataji's own words. This ashram is a school. You have come here to learn universal service. What is the use of coming here year after year? <laughs> Mataji's usual language. <laughs> the heart of a mother, no, not because she means anything bad. What is the use of coming here year after year and staying for months if you have not imbibed even the rudiments of universal love and service expansion? No? What use is an ashram, mat, or mandir if the devotees who go there make no progress at all on the spiritual path? Does any school allow its children to simply come to the classes, sit for some time, and go away without passing a single examination? How can you prepare yourself to appear for examination when you have not gone even beyond A, B, C alphabets? You should not simply stand outside the gates of the mansion, shower compliments and praises on the guru, and then turn back without bothering to enter the gates and experience that. Experience the bliss of the guru. We experience the bliss of the guru's eternal being. Eternal being. The main reason why you hesitate to enter the mansion is because the world outside is the world of I and mine, and you are scared that if you enter the gates and when your mind turns towards the guru, you would lose the world you have been hugging as yours. You do not realize that far from losing your world, you actually gain the whole universe, which becomes yours when you realize infinite and eternal reality. So we have come here for a course. This is what exactly Mataji wants every one of us to make use of our stay here. This nyasa, this trust should be there. I am committed to this. And the second question was about meditation and mental chanting. Each, but we try to get guidance from. People who have scaled the heights, we call them as gurus or spiritual preceptors, and then we, I mean, I go with a, a headache. You also go with headache, but my headache would have been because of. But only when the diag proper diagnosis is done, we know, and different medicines are given, not the same medicine. Similarly, when every person, if he is not responding, he will ask for a second opinion. No, it goes on. Or the sits in judgment on others' conduct and ways, while in himself he has innumerable defects and frailties which need to be scrutinized, eradicated. It has been the habit of many people to ignore their weakness, their own weaknesses, and see the same in others, magnified as through a microscope. introspection and direct examination of his own heart are essential for a man who wishes to make himself pure and thereby prepare himself for obtaining eternal peace and happiness that is why papa asks us to take to solitude this uh, introspection and direct examination this is the this is the diagnosis you know, a, a conducive atmosphere to diagnose our problem let the <clears throat> let him know where he stands what he is what his inner cravings are what is the disease that has seized his soul what are the impurities lurking in his mind what is the great obstacle that stands between him and the immortal bliss and peace 
and what are the bonds that keep him tied down to the low levels of life and prevent him from soaring into the heaven. So this introspection is necessary. And what is the next stage? He says we should be absolutely original. Absolutely original. Initially, of course, it's okay. We try to hold the hand of our child and then walk only for some time. Then the, when the child, without even knowing the scientific background that the center of gravity should be kept up, otherwise I will fall, the practice itself gives him this. And he walks on himself. And he devises his own method. I may not be able to do the long jump or the pole vault or something like that, but he does it, you know. Because his own original faculty, capabilities, that comes out by his own practice. Similarly, Papa bluntly says, we should bring out our own original faculty. The life of the individual must grow like a bud into a flower and the flower into a fruit. Very important, very important for all of us. As we provide the necessary conditions and environments for the growth and fruition of the bud into a fruit, so also is it with life. In the life of the adult spiritual aspirant, the best discipline for his advancement and ultimate realization is the self-imposed discipline. Here, imitation and abject implicit obedience to the law set by anyone, however highly evolved he may be, will instead of bringing into being an illumined individual, only produce a human robot without initiative all its inner powers and beauty unexpressed, unrevealed. At the same time, Papa is not belittling the role of a guru. He says, the keen aspiration for attaining the highest truth must be there. Contact with the divinely illumined personality must also be there. But the unfoldment of the hidden divine life and truth in the sadhaka must take place according to the nature and qualities of his inner and outer life and being. Saints are therefore awakeners, called the awakeners. <laughs> Whose grace works on the sadhaka like the sunlight on the lotus bud. Unless the ego sense disappears, the divine life in us can never reveal itself in all its glory. Be like a child and, and power, charm and sweetness of the divine will radiate through you like the luster of jam. God should possess you, not in any one part of your being, but in every atom, gross, subtle of your entire physical, mental, vital being. So, Divine personality must be there, but the unfoldment of the hidden divine life and truth in the sadhaka must take place according to the nature and qualities of his inner and outer life. Probably if we analyze, we will find, we try to follow, you know. Because we are carrying our taste, our temperament, our inclination, our aptitude, our reservation, our cravings, our infatuation, our... Ambition, everything is there, you know. And we are trying to borrow some words from somebody and try to apply it. No. The inner alignment will not take place. But suppose we try to make a, an effort to align ourselves internally. Within the parameters, you know, within the limitations of our individual, we will succeed.
and coming back again to meditation, meditation is a big word. The moment we hear the word meditation, so many concepts come. But Papa says here, he did not sit for meditation. It was an outcome of his sadhana. Because while chanting, he was not merely chanting like us. It was meditative chanting, unknowingly, without labeling it. What is meditative chanting? Chanting side by side with contemplation of the attributes of the Lord. I am chanting the name of one who is within me, who is making me to chant. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Along with the chanting, this is also interspersed. So this me meditative chanting gives us the what is needed for our movement towards the core of our being, which is stillness. The other day we saw, you know, peace, the quietitude, the awareness itself. And he chose Nama chanting. We are unable to do the meditative chanting. We join the chorus chanting. When we are alone to attraction, we are chanting with this bhavana. We don't know. Each one only knows. So now we start with that. You know? There are three types of chanting. One is vocal, the other is silent, the third one is mental. Day for you were telling. And the question was asked, how do we practice mental chanting? We sit in a quiet place. First we chant oral chanting. Let the mind get calm down and then we try to hear our own chanting, vocal chanting. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. We must hear our own chanting. We close our eyes, we chant, we try to hear. Again the mind becomes more and more calm and quiet. Then we try to slowly get into the silent chanting. <laughs> where the tongue and the lip move, but sound does not come, but again, we know that we are chanting. Again, we will see the calm, calm, calming down. It takes place faster than this. And then finally, we reach mental chanting. The mind chants, we should hear the mental chanting. Please try now itself. Why do we have to postpone? If possible, with the feeling that he is facilitating us, he is guiding us from within, which is the, which is the truth. After one or two or three or four chanting, again the mind may go out. It is not trained. Let us not worry about it. Open the eyes, again we try. <laughs> After two or three chanting, again the mind goes out. Open the eyes, again. And when it becomes uh, steady, then as Papa said, even if the period ever so small, we will be able to remember him through this process. That means chanting is for remembrance, chanting goes, remembrance stays. And then we have been promised, slowly it will lead to the truth, the revelation. That what is aimed by through uh, mental chanting, that is there with us in visible forms outside. Everywhere there is a rhythm, there is a harmony. Again, our old habits 
speak to us, you know, lively. We become aware of that. And that awareness is God realization, she says. Mental chanting is a tough job, but Papa always recommends that we should try to graduate ourselves to this mental chanting. Wherever is possible, we can try. Especially when you come to ashram, you know, there will be empty number of opportunities for us to withdraw ourselves from everything, you know. We were sharing the other day, as soon as Papa's cremation was over, Mataji wanted that to be named as Homa Mandir, where we are offering all our worldly thoughts, the sense of individuality, and try to connect ourselves with the cosmic reality. You know, the sense of individuality is reduced. And there he men she mentioned that the omnipresent Papa's ashram is the whole universe, and to know that he has set up this ashram. So in 68, we specifically remember, we all used to go to uh, uh, Homa Mandir, Mataji leading us. At that time, we did not understand on the first day or second day, because we go there, sit there only. There won't be anything. There won't be any image. There was no image there, no ritual there, absolutely silent. So trying to connect up this serenity, this calmness, this quietitude, this silence, this stillness, whatever you need. Mataji wanted everyone to have a taste of this inward journey. And she said, that is the place, home mandir, where this can be tried. So uh, people used to go. Uh, in our case, we used to carry small books, you know, in our pocket, that speaks or uh, uh, glimpses. We read a few lines, then close. Not for reading, just to dwell on that thought, and the thought will slowly lead us. For example, in glimpses, the first uh, first uh, few words are, go to the origin of your and the world life, and to know who really you are. So we are trying you know, the, uh, to understand where from the thought comes, how does the Nama going on, who is now chanting the Nama, where from that sound comes from, which is the substratum? Like that, you know, slowly you put yourself and then travel, start traveling inwardly. So mental chanting is recommended by everybody. Not the other one are not possible. They, they, it may be, but this is far more effective. It may be effective in somebody's case. Each one has to try. But Papa has recommended that mental chanting is far more efficacious because the chances of our mind going out, suppose we go to the uh, Samadhi Mandir and start chanting it, somebody comes, you know, naturally the, uh, it will be disturbed. Some sound we get. Somebody is not aligning with the total uh, raga. You feel uh, ra disturbed. Uh, you are, you, the, the person who leads the raga and the people who follow the raga, suppose it does not harmoniously blend, we hardly concentrate on the nama and we will have our mental grumblings, you know. Why this person is he's not hearing it? Finished. So these are all the uh, chances where our mind gets to distracted. The purpose of chanting is to remember him. Have we been able to remember him? So the, that is why Papa said for... Uh, Aspirants, the best way is to practice mental chanting. And if once practiced this, even while at office or while doing household work or with anything connected with our social activities, we will be able to slowly do it because there will be a lot of fast moments God will give us and that will help us to get stabilized. And one more thing Papa has assured us, if we are steadfast on the path, guidance will come to us mysteriously. On that particular day, he will make us to go to a particular portion where it is clarified. So with all these assurances, let us try. 
the moment you say uh, meditation uh, to sit what you will call a merit direct your you I mean, eye vision towards the center of this all those things come to us you know we have heard all these things but to us we are not in a position to do that so we we try to make a simple not that the other one is ineffective it may be effective for many people who have got that mindset but to us who have, who use, who have started from simply chanting you know simply chanting without uh, with faith and devotion that is also okay there is nothing else is needed but in our case we can't say that faith and devotion is so deep we have a superficial faith only just like the difference between trust and uh, faith you know we have faith but uh, trust may not be there not that we don't want to but it has not come from within because still we pray to him and still we do something you know we are not leaving entirely to him we are we we know that he has prompted us to do so he knows what the result should be but still we our mind comes and says i want this i want that it is not un- unnatural it is natural so even if we understand the difference between faith and trust it will be only an academic uh, exercise it might help normally we used to uh, remember that you know uh, uh, who is called that what do you call him a person with a bo- bo- small child and with a drum he will be in the corner of the street and uh, he will do so many acrobatics it will attract the attention of people and then he will do something he will have a pole here like this pole here and there will be a rope and because of his practice he will climb there and then walk without any support like that he will come back again return everybody gives him an applause then if then he asks the child you know he puts the child here do you think i will be able to do this everybody will say yes you will do it then he will ask will you give any of your children nobody will come forward and give yes faith is there trust is not there it is all right for his child <laughs> not for my ch- i don't want to take a risk suppose he falls down something will affect to my child so this this trust and faith we we, we should have. we have faith in god we have faith in the guru but do we have trust in him each one has to answer that question and this is what exactly sadhyoja shankarachar swami ji uh, in, inserted in the last word we should have that nyas you know the trust in him trust to him so our attempt is to somehow develop this trust graduating ourselves from faith to trust faith is necessary initially but faith to trust however much we hear still the trust has not been developed no so we try 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 these are all some of the things which we wanted to share in the morning session and now we will have uh huh Ten minutes. Um, how much it will take for the boards? Hello, board or uh, video? With the with the voice. How about a? You have that? he is not showing any signs that he has 7 to 8 minutes we will see
will have it in the afternoon session. Now we will Murtiji is bhajan for 15-20 minutes and then we can have Ramana. Otherwise, you know, it will, this will go and then again we will be transpersing into the Ramnam time. So, let us, this we will, uh, uh, in the afternoon session, we will go through the entire boards. Sri Ram Jay Ram Jay Jay Ram Sri Ram Jay Ram Jay Sri Ram Jay Ram Jay Jay Ram 